Hey guys, it's Moon Moth Goddess. Welcome back to the channel. If you're returning, welcome. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. If this reading does resonate for you, please like the video um, and check out the pick a card playlist that I do have for you guys filled with other pick a card readings that I've done here on the channel. We'd love to have you join our little family. Um, so I just wanted to thank all of you who have been sending in donations um, as well as shopping from my Amazon wish list. Um, thank you guys so much for that. We've been able to add a lot of new decks and also um, I've been able to purchase additional indie decks for us to use here um, for our readings. For those of you that are wanting to book private readings with me, my link is down below or my email is down below in the description box. Or you can just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking with me. I also have bundled reading discounts for those of you that purchase readings in bulk. Um, I do have them available in both 30 minute sessions and 60 minute or one hour long readings. Um, someone asked me a really good question with um, as far as readings that I had. I believe it was yesterday or the day before that. With the private readings, um, you're, you are able, regardless if it's a 30 minute session or a 60 minute session, you are able to ask however many questions you want that you have, but just keep in mind that the more questions you have, the less time that I'm able to spend per question for the reading. So if we're doing like an hour long reading, if we do about three to four questions, I can usually spend about uh, 15 to 20 minutes per question to fill up the hour but if you have like 8 to 12 questions then it shortens the amount of time that I can spend for each question and clarifying the energy so just keep that in mind um, when booking readings with me um, I also had to slow down a little bit on the emergency reading um, spaces that I do have available because with the um, influx of, of new subscribers that we do have on the channel I have been very very busy with um with my reading schedule so right now we're about um i don't know probably about three to four weeks out with readings um so do make sure that if you are wanting to book in with me um that you do that and just keep in mind that the readings are pushed out a little bit um, with that i do have emergency spots available but it is very limited availability um, so you can just send me an email and i provide you with all of that info um, I'd also like to invite you guys over to my Instagram for those of you that do use Instagram. I do post different reading discounts on Instagram that I do post on the community tab. So you want to make sure that you're following me there as well so you don't miss out. Um, we are also getting really close to 20k. So as we get closer, I will also give you guys an update for what the giveaway is going to be. Um, I will probably be giving away some decks, um, readings, as well as... Um, distance reiki healing sessions for that if you guys do have ideas for the giveaway please leave them down for me in the um, comment section so i can kind of see where your ideas are at for what we can give away for the 20 um k okay so now that that's all out of the way let's get into today's reading um this one is going to be what are your dreams trying to tell you Okay, whether you're dreaming about a specific person or you're dreaming about family, you're dreaming about someone who you don't even know, someone you've never met. What are these dreams trying to tell you either about this person? Maybe it's a specific message from this person's higher self. Maybe it's a message from your angels, your guides, trying to get something over to you, some type of sign or message they're trying to send to you. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? Okay. Pile number one is going to be the Arcanum Tarot. Okay, the Arcanum Tarot with this clear quartz for pile one. Pile two is going to be the Druid Craft Tarot. Okay, with this smoky quartz. And then pile number three is going to be the Golden Tarot with this garden quartz okay so what are your dreams trying to tell you whether you're dreaming about a specific person someone you don't know friends and family what are your dreams trying to tell you pile one pile two pile three pause the video if you need more time and i will see you at your pile 
high pile one so for those of you that resonated with the arcanum tarot and this clear quartz crystal this is going to be your reading today so we're trying to find out what message your dreams are trying to tell you this is also going to be one of your messages today we are going to get started with the tarot we're going to take a look at this so i don't forget because sometimes i forget with these small cards um, and we have belladonna with silence and it says listen more and quiet be okay so what i'm kind of feeling with this message here is that you're maybe needing to kind of listen more to what your intuition is telling you or guiding you to do um, also for some of you you may have like anxiety or be over analyzing overthinking certain things situations and i feel like it's just your dreams might be trying to tell you is to kind of quiet your mind in some way so that you're really able to honor or listen to what your intuition is guiding you to do sometimes you get so busy that you kind of forget to just kind of sit in those moments of silence and quiet um, even spending time for yourself so that you're able to really gauge how you're feeling what you're thinking where your thoughts are leading to um, so we'll kind of see how this plays out into your reading okay so pile one what are your dreams trying to tell you it could be that you get so busy and you get so worked up um, and sometimes you can get really scattered with your thoughts and so sometimes I feel like maybe your dreams are trying to tell you just to kind of relax take a rest take a break so that you're really able to see kind of where your thoughts are all day long you know in your in your 3d life like so we'll kind of see where that goes kind of like the, the answers are may already be within you it may be something that your intuition has been trying to guide you or tell you for you to see and sometimes you get so busy with life that you are not paying attention okay and I think that we're all we're all guilty of that okay so pile one what are your dreams trying to tell you one what are your dreams trying to tell you what are your dreams trying to tell you what are pal one's dreams trying to tell them what are your dreams trying to tell you We've got the Three of Wands. Okay, so with this Three of Wands energy, this is kind of the energy of waiting for life to kind of take shape, unfold. Um, so it could be that your dreams are trying to tell you to make a move, to kind of, you know, this is the process where you've maybe have made a choice or are needing to kind of make a choice to get some type of dream or something uh, moving forward, maybe to kind of come up with a plan. We have the Seven of Swords here. We have the Page of Wands. What are your dreams trying to tell you? I'm gonna try to get at least four to five cards out here. What are your dreams trying to tell you, Pavlin? We've got Justice here. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Okay, and we've got judgment in the reverse, and then we have strength at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we've got three of wands, seven of swords, page of wands, the justice card, and then we do have judgment in the reverse. Okay, so like I said, with this Three of Wands energy here, this is talking about that energy of waiting, you know, for things to take shape, for, for um, maybe a decision that you've made or that you're needing to make so that you're able to get something started. This could be, you know, moving on from something. It could be starting a new path, a new journey um, within your life. 
Um, sometimes I think about the Three of Wands as needing to take action somewhere, needing to get something started. Um, we do have the Seven of Swords here. I'm not quite sure how this is playing in because the Seven of Swords can be about deception, betrayal. Um, it can be about getting away with something. Maybe that there's someone in your life who is trying to deceive you. Okay, but it can also be when you are maybe feeling a little bit scared to kind of open up with certain things or maybe um, for some of you it could even be um, having been betrayed or lied to in the past or having someone, you know, steal or take something away from you. Um, but we do have the Page of Wands here as well. And the Page of Wands is about being able to feel that sense of freedom and being able to kind of take a new step, feeling that sense of adventure to be able to feel free to move forward with something that you feel passionate about. Um, it can even be a specific message um, from someone. Okay, we also have the Justice card here as well. And the Justice card is about truth, fairness, bringing karmic balance as well. Um, for some of you, it could be that um, this is letting you know maybe something where someone has deceived you in the past, that the universe has taken notice of that to really kind of bring balance to the scales. For some of you, it could have been a difficult situation that you had not been able to move on from um, to be able to kind of forgive and let that go. Now, we also have the judgment card in the reverse. So sometimes it's this not wanting to let go of something that maybe we know that we need to. Um, maybe someone hurt us in the past. We do have strength here as well. So with the strength energy, this is also strengthening your connection to spirit, having courage, finding that uh, wisdom from within, and being able to find the courage to be able to either let something go or to be able to take that next big step in our life, um, giving ourselves kind of a fresh start, new chapter, um, and I'm also seeing the Ten of Cups underneath here as well. So with the Ten of Cups, this is really, for some of you, this maybe this next step is going to lead into a feeling of fulfillment, of being content, of being happy. Um, so we're going to clarify these energies because I feel like this is still something that may not be quite clear. The Judgment energy also in the reverse is going to be about you ignoring certain things that you're seeing or not picking up on. Um putting kind of emotional blinders on. Um, it could even be that you're creating resistance for yourself somewhere or fighting against something that you feel. Um, needing to release something, needing to pay more attention to kind of what is going on around you. And this message here, listen more and quiet be. Maybe for some of you, there could be something that your dreams are trying to warn you about, especially if there's any type of deceptive energy around you. Um, someone who is around maybe in your circle who's not being true, not being honest with you. Um, and it may be something that you're needing to kind of move on from. For those of you that are in a relationship, you know, it could it could go that way. But we'll kind of clarify a little bit more, okay? Maybe some of you have been feeling, you know, that maybe a, a, a sense to move on from a, a specific connection and maybe really kind of looking for the courage to be able to do that, okay? So, yes, this judgment energy in the reverse is definitely kind of ignoring things, ignoring signs um, maybe that you have. And maybe your, your dreams are just trying to tell you to listen. Listen to what your inner guidance system is trying to tell you or warn you about. And just kind of in that stillness so that you're able to, you know, find those messages and really kind of piece them together for what your dreams are trying to tell you. So let's get some more information. Let's see what this Three of Wands is. Okay, so we've got the Hermit energy here. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. This could be a friend. It could be a family member who's being deceiving. It could be even deceiving yourself because the signs that are being ignored, it could be something that you're choosing not to see or choose something, you know, especially if it's a challenge, a challenging relationship that you're in or a challenging friendship. And it's kind of like you may be putting those emotional blinders on to pretend that things are not that way. But the reality is that you're needing to kind of 
maybe have a wake up call as to what that person is or if that person is kind of you know no longer supposed to be on your path or if it's a relationship that needs to end something that you're needing to let go of so we'll kind of see how that goes what is the seven of swords here we've got the ten of pentacles okay so this could have something to do with someone's family life home life your stability your security okay it could be a partner it could be a um a spouse okay for some of you let's get one more what is this seven of swords here what is this seven of swords it could also be for the seven of swords needing to kind of come up with a plan because the seven of swords is sometimes movement of moving very quickly so maybe that for some of you, it could be that you're needing to really focus on maybe what you're doing, where your plans are, especially if you feel very scattered, like your energy is kind of all over the place, and maybe to kind of get more focused for things over the long term financially. What is the Seven of Swords here? We've got the wheel here. Okay, so let's see, what's this Page of Wands energy here? We've got the death card in the reverse. What is the justice card here? So with the death card in reverse, there is something that some of you may be needing to let go of, maybe a person. Okay, what is this judgment energy here in the reverse? Wow, we've got three cards that flew out. Okay, so we've got the hangman, we've got the page of swords, and then we also have the six of pentacles. What is this strength card energy here? What is this strength energy here? What is this strength card? We've got the five of pentacles. And then we've also got the ten of swords. Okay, so ten of swords, again, can talk about backstabbing, betrayal, painful endings, um, and also maybe needing to heal and release something that had been really keeping you down. We have the hermit energy here. So with the hermit, it's kind of like we're needing to really look for answers within ourselves. We're needing to really focus on introspection, maybe about what our life, how we want to plan our life for the future. Okay, so it could be talking about future life plans and really listening to where your intuition is guiding you to that next step in life, what changes you need to make. With the death card being here in the reverse, there may be something, someone, a situation that you're needing to let go of, okay, move on from. With the death card in the reverse, it's kind of like... For some of you, you may know that something needs to end. You may know that something needs to change. And that can even be something within yourself, okay? Maybe a, some pain that you're still holding on to, feeling deceived or betrayed maybe, maybe, maybe by someone in the past. And maybe for some of you, you could have been cheated on in the past. And this is something that you haven't been able to let go of. So the, the reasons, the difference, uh, there's going to be different things for each of you. So you will have to kind of really, you know, maybe think within yourself, what could this be? And some of you already know, you know what it is, because your intuition is already telling you and warning you maybe about what that, that, what it is. It may have been a thought that crossed your mind. So with the death card in the reverse, it's kind of like, we know something needs to end, but it's kind of like, instead of allowing it to just kind of be something that falls away and off of our path, we hold on to it. Okay, we don't want to see what our intuition has been telling us. And sometimes it can be about a specific person that's in our life. And we know that maybe that relationship is, is done. It's run its course. It's no longer something that is needed for us and on our path. And sometimes it's difficult for us to see it that way. Okay, we don't want to. Or we feel like, you know, we, we always have free will. Okay, we always have free will to choose what it is that we want. 
okay but with the death card in the reverse it's definitely something that maybe you're needing to put to an end or bring to an end it could be a job it could be a friend circle it could be maybe a toxic family member it could be many different things here but it is just kind of we're needing to let this go so that we are able to kind of with the page of wands be able to start new okay start down a new path here okay so I'm also seeing that we have the Ten of Pentacles here and we have the Wheel of Fortune here. And the Wheel of Fortune can bring good luck and blessings and, you know, um, prosperity. Um, but the Wheel is also this, you know, fate, destiny, karma. And as the Wheel changes or spins here, sometimes it can bring us highs and lows within our life, depending on the energy that we are putting out, depending on you know, if we're a good person, if we're doing good things. So with the seven of swords being here as well, like I said, for some of you, it could be a financial situation with another person. It could be something that is in the home, the home life. Um, with the seven of swords energy, like I said, it is, it can be deceptive. Okay. So it could be someone who is in the home with you, someone who's family, someone who's close friends, um, and maybe that the, you've had some ups and downs in the past with this person. Um, so just kind of be cautious of that and, you know, with the Seven of Swords there. Um, with the Three of Cups here, this is really talking about joy, happiness, celebration, being able to come together with other people. Um, and with the Justice card here, this is, like I said, it is about the scales being balanced karmically. Um... So for some of you, it could be about needing to let something painful go from the past so that you're able to let go, move forward, um, allow yourself to heal from. Now with this judgment energy in the reverse, okay, we've got the page of swords here, we've got the six of pentacles, and then we also have the hanged man. So with the judgment energy, we're ignoring something that our dreams maybe have been trying to tell us, okay? And as a result, I feel like your dreams are trying to tell you to look at your situation or your family, your friends, whatever it may be, your job. Look at it from a different perspective so that you're able to see things from a different point of view. Okay? The hangman can also talk about when we're feeling stuck, we're in limbo, we're, we're, we're maybe kind of refusing to see something a certain way or we're ignoring something. Um... So with the Page of Swords here, I feel like this is really maybe learning something. It could be a specific message, maybe about giving and receiving. Are you giving too much in a relationship? Are you giving too little? Um, the Six of Pentacles is also about generosity as well, okay? So it can be the, the even exchange between giving your energy, helping others um, there as well. We're going to get some oracle messages to help kind of clarify this because I feel like this is this is a lot. This is a lot of different um, messages that are in here. Um, and then we have the five of pentacles here as well. Okay, and the five of pentacles can be when we isolate ourselves, we feel isolated, we feel like we need help. Um, so maybe not being afraid to ask for help as well. Um, it can also be self-limiting beliefs. Um, the lack mindset of feeling... You know, not like we're not going to have enough money. We're not going to be stable. Um, so let's definitely get into some of these oracle messages to see how we can clarify some of this energy. There's a lot of different messages in here. So pile one, what are your dreams trying to tell you? encouragement okay dreams trying to encourage you for some of you it could even be fear like i said about starting something starting something new letting go of an old job letting go of uh, an old place where you live to really kind of move towards abundance and prosperity in the path that lies ahead but with this three of wands energy here like i said sometimes it can be that we're needing to take that first step we're needing to kind of because this is kind of still early on in the stages where we can start to make plans and 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 shift things for ourselves. So I feel like with the encouragement here, it's also, you know, maybe your dream's trying to encourage you to, to continue to move forward with something. Okay. 
authenticity. Okay, so being your most authentic self. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We have fortuity here with luck. Okay, so good luck here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ten of Pentacles, which is really beautiful. So it can also be talking about you not being afraid to feel, for some of you, maybe even opening your own business or um, starting a business. It could be that not to be afraid, not to feel, not to feel afraid to really kind of open up and explore your options when it comes to um, career. We also have destiny here as well. Okay, so for some of you, I almost feel like looking at this energy here now. It's almost kind of with the hermit energy trying to have you pull away from something in your life some type of ending that either needs to happen or that has happened already. It could have been a breakup that you've gone through. It could have been something where someone was deceptive to you in the past, like I said, getting over a very painful relationship or a deceptive person that you've had to deal with in your life and moving away from them, moving away from that or a way of thinking, moving away from, away from that. But it's kind of like your dreams are trying to guide you into... For some of you, it could be service to others with the Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles here. Some of you, it could be life purpose with trying to help other people. Okay, help other people because we do have destiny here. So it's kind of like you are destined. For some of you with the Ten of Pentacles here, you are building a family legacy. You are building abundance for not only for yourself, for your family, but also you're going along this path to create more abundance, more prosperity for yourself by you being your most authentic self and being able to help others. The Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, like I said, service to others, helping other people. For some of you with the Page of Swords, it can even be going to school, taking a class. Some of you may have been kind of on the fence with um, learning something or wanting to take a specific class so that you're able to add maybe something else into your tool belt to be able to help other people with. So some of you could be healers, you could be light workers. Um, and so I feel like this is really spirit trying to enc encourage you, your dreams, encouraging you to really be and feel comfortable being your most authentic self. But there is something here that you're needing to let go of, whether that is a mindset, whether that is a self-limiting belief, whether that is a relationship that is not serving you. With the death card in the reverse, like I said, it is something that you're needing to let go of. And it could be a very difficult decision for you to take that next step, okay? And we do have the Queen of Wands right underneath that. So I feel like this is really, you know, your dreams trying to tell you, spirit, your guides, your angels, um, trying to tell you to really step into this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, step into this Queen of Wands energy, whether you're male or female. The Queen of Wands is a boss and she makes it happen. You know, she goes and follows her dreams and she does not let anything or anyone stop, stop her, get in her way. Okay, so it is really following through with what you feel like you're wanting to do. Okay, so let's see. Pile number one, what are your dreams trying to tell you? What are your dreams trying to tell you, pile one? We've got gates of triumph. Success expands in your life, okay? And I'm totally seeing that with this ten of pentacles and the wheel. Some of you, just kind of getting this message here. Some of you with this five of pentacles here, and this is myself included, because many of us go through childhoods where you either go through poverty, you go through not having enough money, you go through... Um, ancestral type of stuff or familial type of, of ways of thinking about money, a relationship with prosperity. So some of you may even have a blockage when it comes to finances and your ability to believe in yourself with being able to manifest a dream life for yourself. For some of you, it's, it's even maybe even deep-rooted being scared of being successful. 
because it may be something that maybe your parents haven't done or your grandparents haven't done. So for some of you, it can be something of self-worthiness. Do I feel worthy of prosperity? Do I feel worthy of abundance? Okay. We have success expands in your life. Okay. Things changing. Some of you with that seven of swords could be kind of running away or there may be kind of something, some type of blockage with feeling that you are worthy of abundance, prosperity. Okay. We have the gates of triumphs here and that says success expands in your life. Okay. But I feel like with the death card here, it is something that you're needing to let go of so that you can fully step into this queen of wands power. Okay, fully embracing that energy. And like I said, some of you already know what it is and maybe just kind of putting the blinders on with that judgment card in the reverse. Whoa. Okay. So let's see what this is. Okay, so... Okay, so we've got an impasse here. Okay, it says reflect and redirect your energy. Okay, listen more and quiet be. Some of you may be, and it may not be for all of you, but it could be a certain thing in your life, something that is being blocked. And it is here with the Hermit energy that this is time for introspection. So there could be one plan, maybe a plan that you have that needs more thought. Like I said, the Seven of Swords can be when we are hurrying and we're rushing with something or that we're trying to hurry up and get to the finish line of abundance and prosperity. And the 10 of pentacles is not something that happens overnight. It is us taking those careful steps in order for us to get to that place. Okay. So some of you may feel kind of stuck hangman energy. So this is kind of needing to take some time to reflect pause, for some of you, like I said, it could be that your energy is very scattered. And so it's kind of needing to kind of redirect. Where am I going? Is everything that I'm doing right now, is it leading to my, me to my path of destiny? Okay. So some of you will already have an awareness of what things need to fall away. Okay. What things need to fall away within um, your life. So let's look. Let's see what else we've got. And for some of us, you know, it could be, okay, well, I don't like the job that I have. I'm not happy here. I don't feel like it's, it's, this is my purpose. I don't feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Then it may be telling you, hey, is this road that you're currently on with that job, with that situation, is it getting you somewhere? Is it where you want to be? Okay. For some of you, it can be something that is being blocked. Okay. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? Maybe not to feel scared about making this change. We've got wonders here. What are your dreams trying to tell you? What are Pile One's dreams trying to tell them? Okay, look at that. Beautiful. We've got miracles and we've got wonders here. Okay, so it is telling you that your dreams are possible. Okay, but it is also this encouragement from your dreams. Underneath the deck, look at that. Taking risks. Okay, taking risks to be able to further yourself. Okay, knowing that miracles are possible. What are pile number one's dreams trying to tell them? Nothing will come of this situation. Okay, so some of you, it could have been something that you're stuck with here with that death card in the reverse. We have an impasse here. Okay, it's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, you may feel like 
<clears throat> why is there this wall here? And it may be because this is not your path. There is a need for you to kind of shift and redirect yourself. And like I said, with this listen more and quiet be, it could be something that you already know, something you're already aware of. Okay, so let's see what else there is. What are your dreams trying to tell you? You are good enough. Okay, and you have here your spirit guides, angels, ancestors trying to tell you and trying to encourage you, you are good enough. Don't feel like you aren't. Okay? It could also be that your own thoughts are, are an emotional roadblock for you. Okay? Worrying about something, being anxious about something, feeling nervous about letting something go in order for you to let something in, that you're also not gaining anything from worrying about something or, you know, uh, getting discouraged or, or telling yourself that you can't do something. <clears throat> okay, so some of you, it's, it's just, you know, your anxiety, your worrying. Nothing is going to come from it. It's not going to help you to get to the finish line any faster. It's not going to help you to, you know, get to where your, your path is. If you don't kind of allow certain things to change or shift, it could be creating resistance for yourself by not going with the flow um, or not paying attention to the signs. Okay, underneath the deck we have, it's time to take action. Okay, it's time to take action. Okay, so some of you are needing to kind of take that next step. Okay, so I am going to be using the tea leaf cards, but if you can see, this deck is really, really thick, and I can't shuffle them this way, so I'm going to split them in half and take from both, both stacks. Okay, so pile number one. What are your dreams trying to tell you? What are your dreams trying to tell you, pile number one? What are your dreams trying to tell you, pile one? We've got older man dealing or relationship with an older man. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with an older person Okay. Maybe you have an older a relationship with an older man that needs to come to an end. Maybe this is something that, you know, or even someone. I'm going to hold on that thought. Let's see. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got, wow, finger here, warning you of a problem either now or in the future. And it could be for some of you with an older man. This could be a father figure. This could be a father. Someone here in your life warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Okay. What are your dreams trying to tell you? slowly but surely getting ahead okay so for some of you i'm feeling like this is really isn't related i feel like this is kind of its own thing okay um we've got slowly but surely getting ahead okay so this is also telling you keep going encouraging you keep going and you notice that the tortoise is very slow okay the tortoise is slow moving so as long as you keep moving forward and not feeling like you have to hurry up or rush or even that you're not making any move at all. Okay, because we have it's time to take action here. Okay, so just keep moving little by little. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got stork here with or new business opportunity. Okay, so some of you could have be opening a business or some of you can even be having, you know, a baby expanding your family some of you can be having a spirit baby come in to give you um, specific messages okay encouragement keep going what are your dreams trying to tell you pile one 
We've got tent here, temporary situation. So some of you could be in temporary housing. Some of you could be, you know, staying with friends, family. Um, some of you may be going through something that is just temporary right now and will be you'll be kind of shifting out of that energy. Or the situation that you're in right now could be something that is temporary. Okay, we've got flowers with happiness here. So I'm going to switch over to this other one. We've got Lily here, spiritual love. Okay, so for some of you, it could be a, a spirit, um, a divine counterpart that is coming through in your dreams. Okay, trying to help you with these, these messages or trying to step into your dreams to really encourage you to move forward. Okay. What are your dreams trying to tell you, Pile One? It could even be an older male spirit guide that you have for some of you. Could be that as well. We have Haystack here, Karma. You will reap what you have sown. Okay, so we've, we're seeing the wheel here. So Karma can be both something very positive for us it can also be something that comes in as a negative blow to our life depending on where we're at with our energy okay and we have the justice card there so it is telling you you know the universe has taken notice of of either something that you're doing really good some of you like i said you could be helping other people with that six of pentacles giving of your time your energy and the universe is taking notice of that and giving back in terms of miracles blessings abundance and maybe trying to kind of redirect you into a way that your destiny is so that you are able to fully embrace the miracles the blessings okay and letting go some of you like i said it could be just an, a, a blockage from something that you've had to deal with in your past and needing to kind of heal and release because it could also be something that is blocking abundance for you and fully stepping into receiving um, those blessings there. So what is your dreams trying to tell you? What are your dreams trying to tell you, Pile One? What are your dreams trying to tell you? Okay, so we've got Mountain Road. You are on the road to success, which is beautiful, okay? Um, we also have the bull here. It says, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Okay. So some of you that feel like there are some challenges or even a person who is quite challenging in your life. And this may be that you're needing to really kind of stand your ground, speak your truth, be authentic. And as that queen of wands, not allow even if you are dealing with a bull or someone who is maybe not supportive or someone who you know is trying to manipulate or tell you what you need to do versus what you feel you're being guided to do okay so this is telling you show strength and fortitude do not back down okay do not back down from someone who may be having opposing views someone who thinks differently than you do Okay, but the success is something that we're seeing here. Plenty of abundance, and I feel for many of you, it may be from light working. It's from you being and having a giving and open heart and helping other people. Okay, so take whatever resonates to your situation because there's a lot of different messages in this pile. What are your dreams trying to tell you, Pile One? We've got tower here, solid foundation and success with effort. Okay, so this tower is different than the tarot tower. The tarot tower may be something that we don't want to see, um, but this is telling you solid foundation and success. Okay, you're building a strong tower. You're building a strong foundation, that 10 of pentacles there. Okay. We also have a dark man, dealings or relationship with a man with a dark complexion or hair. So you've got two men here. So I'm not sure which one is yours, but <laughs> dealings with relationship with a man with a dark complexion or darker hair. OK, 
okay? So it could be that maybe the person that you're dealing with or the person maybe in your life it could be have dark complexion or maybe just dark hair, dark features. Okay, but we've got two men here. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Heartache over what you no longer have. Okay, so some of you with that Ten of Swords, like I said, are needing to heal from something. Maybe having a difficult so letting letting something go. Okay. Maybe someone from the past, a past love that really hurt you. And it could be just that one thing that you feel is like agonizing every day or something that has been really difficult to be able to let go of. And we're seeing kind of this spear here in the heart and she's got these swords all over her. Heartache over what you no longer have. Okay, so maybe needing to kind of let go of that honor the feelings not try to stuff them away and really honor those feelings and emotions that you do have so that you're able to heal what are your dreams trying to tell you we've got throne position of authority so it could be that you're needing to take this seat at the throne and have you know maybe a position of authority over your life your decisions being a leader um kind of like the emperor energy we have pin here with new job, new career. So it could be that you're needing to kind of switch over to a career that you are destined for. Okay, something you are destined for. We also have casket here and it says someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Okay, so I don't want to be completely morbid, but you know, maybe some of you have lost someone and this has been something that was very difficult. For you to get over that grief um, but it can also be representative kind of like that death card energy where it is something that you're needing to put to rest some part of your life that you're needing to let go of um, close out the cycle there so that you're able to start new okay so the last two from this one and then we're going to get our last deck We've got the crown and we've got the horseshoe. So good luck and then honor and respect will come to you. So not only do you have your throne, you've got your crown too. Okay, so it could also be that you are being recognized by other people. You're gaining the recognition that you deserve. Okay, people are going to honor and respect maybe the work that you do. Maybe your generosity. Maybe your strength and... Um, being able to maybe leave a situation for some of you or walk away or you know it could be different things um, for all of you so now let's get our last messages and that horseshoe definitely bring in you guys have a lot of success a lot of prosperity I feel like that you are destined to for some of you like I said with this ten of pentacles here it could be healing ancestral karmic cycles with money you know and now with this Ten of Pentacles, it's kind of like you are destined, you're on the path to great greatness. It could be that you are the first person in your family to really kind of build a legacy, a business, when maybe something very different than your family was able to do. And now you, your, your dreams are trying to encourage you to really keep going, keep pushing forward, okay, with what you are deserved. Maybe this is going to be something completely different than what your ancestors and your parents have been able to provide for you, but now you're able to provide for generations to come, for your for your children, for your grandchildren, okay? So let's get these last messages. Pile number one, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Here and now, look at that, past and the future. Okay, so you may be kind of caught up in this place in the in-between of transition, you know, within your life. And now we have like this new door of opportunity for you to really kind of take that next step in the future with leaving the past behind and being able to kind of make these plans for the future. And we have go the distance. Okay, keep pushing forward. This cheetah is just kind of like with all of this power and strength to be able to keep pushing forward keep moving forward okay let's get one more what are your dreams trying to tell you happy happy look at that 
That is beautiful. Joy, happiness, be happy, enjoy the present moment. Okay, some of you, I'm even seeing this now, some of you may be kind of caught up between worrying about the future, maybe having some depression or holding on to the emotional baggage from the past. And this is spirit telling you, hey, get with it. Think about what, ha be happy now. Don't say I'll be happy when this happens in the future. Oh, I'll be happy when this, I'll be happy when that. Be happy now. Okay, choose happiness now. Okay, really beautiful here. And then underneath the deck, we have come to the edge. Okay, and come to the edge is going to be about you being able to take that risk. Okay, be willing to, to take that next step. Okay, you've got your crown, you've got your throne, you've got success surrounding you. Many of you, this is something that you're destined for, is to be successful, but it is about you taking that risk. Okay, taking that risk, come to the edge. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number one. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and please subscribe if you have not done so already, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, pile two, welcome to your reading. So, for those of you that resonated with the Druid Craft Tarot and the Smoky Quartz, this is going to be your reading today. So this top card is one of your messages. We're going to see how this kind of plays into your um, messages today. Okay, so this one says, Hearts ease, compassion, tread a little more tenderly. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with a lot of um, either blockages or pain, maybe from the past. Um, it could also be maybe being a little bit more compassionate with yourself, with other people. We have tread a little more tenderly, okay? So this could be maybe in, in your communication, the way that you communicate with other people, the way that you communicate with yourself, um, having compassion for other people as well as um, compassion for yourself, okay? Empathy, um, unconditional love with that as well, okay? So we'll kind of see how this plays out as far as what your dreams are trying to um, tell you. Okay, so pile two, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Pile two, what are your dreams trying to tell you? So just keep in mind this is a general reading. Pile number one had a lot of different messages come through with many different situations. So just keep in mind it is general. Only take what feels like it resonates to you, your situation um, that you may be going through. Okay, and leave the rest, as it may be for someone else that is also watching um, this video. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? Pile one, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Okay, so we've got the two of wands in reverse. We've got the fool. We've got a chariot. Wow, you guys are needing to move, move forward with something. It could be travel, it could be moving, starting something new, taking a risk. And we've got the, what is this, the temperance energy. Okay, and then underneath the deck we do have strength. Okay, so what are your dreams trying to tell you? We have the two of wands in reverse, the fool, the chariot, and then we also have the strength card here. So with the two of wands in reverse, it could be that you were kind of feeling <clears throat> maybe needing to kind of take some type of new direction, a new path, um, feeling conflicted about maybe a ne that next step um, within your life. So um, with it being in the reverse like that, I feel like this is needing to kind of t rethink maybe a plan or maybe that ne what that next step is. But also, once you do figure it out, don't be afraid to take the risk to do that. We have the strength card here. So the strength card is about us finding that courage or that courage within ourselves to be able to move forward with decisions, with plans, um, not allowing fear to be something that holds us back. 
And the cherry energy is really about finding that balance between your yin and your yang, your feminine, masculine energies to really get your chariot to be able to move forward. Um, sometimes with the two of wands in reverse, it can be that we're feeling a little bit unstable with our, de our ideas, our plans. So with the chariot energy here, with our feminine energy, it is going to be our creative side. It is going to be the one that is thinking of these ideas, um, manifesting, creating. And then the masculine side of us is going to be the go-getter, the person, the part of us that actually uh, goes through, takes action. Um, so in order for you to get your chariot to drive forward, you need to balance your energies, okay? So with the two of wands in reverse, this could be talking about having some type of an unstable idea, unstable energy, needing to come up maybe with a plan for what it is that you're wanting to do with the future. The chariot is leading you to success, victory, achievements, and being able to celebrate yourself for your victories, okay? And then we also have the temperance energy here as well. And temperance is about finding balance within your life, doing things within moderation. It could even be about your health, about dieting, about eating healthier, taking better care of yourself, healing, um... Um, the, the temperance energy is also about alchemy, okay, creation. So it could be that you're coming up with some type of a plan, um, and you can see she's kind of mixing these liquids here um, with this temperance energy. So she's trying to create something. So we'll see kind of where this goes, but with the, with the temperance energy also, it is also about being patient, okay, being patient with with yourself, maybe with other people that you're dealing with in your life. Okay, so what is this Two of Wands energy here? We've got the Princess of Swords, so the Page of Swords. Okay, so with the Princess of Swords, this could be needing to research an idea, do more research, do more thinking. Um, it could even be taking a class, going to school. Maybe some of you were, were feeling a little bit stuck with how to maybe further progress your education, your work, your career, financial goals. Let's get one more. What is this Two of Wands? We've got the Eight of Swords. Okay. So this Eight of Swords can, it's kind of like personal imprisonment, self-limiting beliefs that keep us stuck. Okay, keeping us stuck with where we're at. So the Page of Swords is a very curious, inquisitive um, energy that wants to learn, wants to grow, wants to be involved in things. So with the Two of Wands being here in the reverse, I'm feeling like maybe there's some ideas or some plans or something that may be kind of blocked out for you, or there's some self-limiting beliefs or even negative self-talk that is keeping you from being able to kind of move forward here. Okay, so let's see what this full energy, what is this full energy here? We've got the five of pentacles. Okay, so with the five of pentacles, for some of you, it could be feeling that some of you may be dealing with somebody who ghosted you. Okay, some of you may be waiting for, for contact or, or, or email messages communication from this person and maybe you're not able to move forward with your own life because of feeling kind of stuck but with the five of pentacles it can be when you feel isolated you're isolating yourself you feel alone you feel lonely um, it can also be when you feel like you're down on your luck like things are not kind of going your way but I'm feeling like your your dreams are trying to encourage you to be able to remove this blindfold here remove this this energy that has kind of bound you and keeping you stuck and really kind of look for ideas or ways to maybe change the circumstances of your situation with the full energy here it is about having that free spiritedness within you the kind of go with the flow be, being able to take a risk take the leap of faith into really kind of because sometimes the five of pentacles can make you feel okay well the things that i'm dealing with right now in my life are pretty sucky and i don't feel like I don't feel inspired. I don't feel like doing anything. I feel like everything that I try to do isn't working. My plans are not working. They're they're not following, you know, following through. So sometimes the 5 of pentacles if we stay in this energy, it can make us feel like we're helpless. 
okay? Like we can't change, like we have no control to be able to change a situation or maybe a person that we're dealing with in our life. So the full energy is really wanting you to be able to take a risk by doing something new, changing something new, and being able to kind of find that balance here within your energies here, um, with being able to successfully move forward with your dreams, your goals, your career, your finances, um, moving on from a relationship or so and it can even be moving here as well okay it could be that you're traveling maybe you've been thinking about traveling or thinking about moving relocating okay for some of you it could even be that you you're you're out of a job right now okay and this is really your intuition telling you instead of staying stuck and instead of you know um feeling like you have no control know that you do do some research find out what maybe something that you can do to maybe change ask for help okay why is the chariot here we've got the five of cups wow and we've got the nine of cups in reverse so some of you have lost faith in something some of you may be feeling very stuck like things are just not happening not going your way some of you like i said you could have lost a job you could have been dealing with some financial issues right now and the nine of cups in reverse is when you lose faith, you lose hope, you, you just kind of have a more pessimistic way of looking at things right now. And the five of cups is kind of maybe having some regrets, disappointments, sadness, loss, grief, all of those heavier energies. So it's almost like your dreams are trying to tell you instead of sitting in this energy, find that inner strength within yourself to keep going. Okay, you can change your situation, you can remove yourself from this energy because feeling sad, feeling depressed is, you know, some of us that have, you know, anxiety disorders or struggle with depression or any type of mental illness, it is difficult to be able to pull ourselves out of that energy. Okay, but we have to have an awareness of it being a choice. Okay, you can choose to change your perspective and to be able to see things differently, see the situations that you're going through are temporary and not necessarily meant to keep you in that place and keep you down and feeling low. Okay, I've struggled with both anxiety, I have an anxiety disorder, and I've also struggled with chronic depression for the majority of my life. So I understand what feeling sometimes like this where you feel helpless you feel like you can't get out of it you can't snap yourself out of it but you are able to change the way you see things the way you perceive things okay and not constantly reverting back to a negative or pessimistic way of thinking by finding that inner strength connecting to your higher self Okay, with these messages, having more compassion for yourself as well. So now I'm seeing here with this heart's ease, it's kind of like putting your heart at ease. Okay, we've got some depression energy here with the five of cups, some anxiety here with the eight of swords. So the strength energy is about you finding it, finding that light within yourself to be able to see things different and differently and to be able to see your power and your strength and believe in yourself and your ability to be able to pick yourself up and keep moving forward, okay? So let's look at this temperance energy here. We have the magician, okay? So magician energy here, very powerful. This is letting you know that you have the power. You have everything you need within yourself to change your circumstances, to co-create with the universe, to manifest whatever it is you want. The magician is very, very powerful energy. Okay. So let's see what the strength energy is here. We've got the queen of pentacles. Okay, it's kind of like going from rags to riches with this, but it is about you believing that you can do it, not staying in this Eight of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded, nurturing energy. 
she's on her game whether you're male or female the queen of pentacles energy is someone who has made very keep, uh, careful steps planning um, decisions based off of logic and um, commitment dedication to a goal that's why she's the queen of pentacles okay she knows she's got this power of manifestation she knows she needs to balance out her energies here okay in order to to help her drive this chariot moving forward okay so it is about you believing in yourself as this magician to be able to change a certain way of thinking here with the nine of cups in reverse because this energy feels like there is something maybe that hasn't gone your way or plans or maybe you've lost a job um maybe you're you struggle with finances you struggle with self-limiting beliefs and it like i said it is hard to get yourself out of that wheel of you know over analyzing things and feeling depressed by things but sometimes those those challenges the adversity that we face within our life like i said it's not meant to keep us there it is meant for us to see yes it is a challenge it is an obstacle but what are we going to do to find a way out of out of it to improve our situation instead of saying you know woe is me i feel really sad i feel like i, ca I can't do it you can okay you can and for those of you that feel that you can't um I do have a second um, YouTube channel. It's called The Mystical Gypsy. The link is always in the description box for you guys. And I do have a video there of my personal healing journey and dealing with depression, dealing with anxiety, dealing with a lot of very traumatic things that I have gone through in my life. And only until about two years ago was I able to completely do a 180 with my life with my emotions with dealing and struggling with mental illness okay so if those of you that are feeling low those of you that are struggling with being able to get past that hump of not being able to see things other than from a place of worrying and excess or depression or sadness or grief go watch that video okay because it might be able to kind of help you to see things and even give you some you know feelings of empowerment within yourself that you can change things you can and have the power but it is about you believing in yourself to be able to find balance fine-tune things change your perception look at things differently okay so we have the tower underneath the deck okay not really what I wanted to see, but it's it kind of goes with this energy here. Okay, and we also have the Two of Swords, Nine of Wands, the Lovers, Decisions, Choices. Okay, so the Tower energy can be about major changes, upheaval that is happening in our life. Drastic changes, life-changing events. Okay, life changing events that have made us feel that we have no control or power over certain things. The tower energy is divine intervention. It is something that happens when we are trying to build a foundation, maybe with a specific person at a specific job with a specific career, a certain situation, and it is something that is not meant for us. Okay, something that is not meant for us. So divine intervention comes in and levels out destroys what we think that we're building on something that's solid but the universe is telling us no this is not something that is meant for you this is not something that is meant for you to continue on your path you need to break this down and rebuild into something that is truly meant for you and sometimes these tower moments that happen in our life could be a separation a divorce a, a you know a breakup a really painful breakup it could be a loss of a family member it could be a loss of a job it can be something that kind of comes in and flips our life or our world upside down okay the longer that we wait and we know there's something that we need to change in our life and we continue to not do it year after year after year after year the universe will take care of it for you and it is not always in the way that we want it to 
okay if we are in a relationship let's just say we're stuck in a relationship that this person is constantly hurting us and hurting us and we know that we're experiencing it we're going through the day-to-day -day feelings emotions and all of these struggles that we're having with that person or that situation and we know we need to leave we know we need to walk away and we keep staying we keep staying and it's kind of like the universe keeps showing you at by this person hurting you again and again and again until you don't you're just not getting it okay and sometimes this tower is needed sometimes there needs to be like a knockout drag out fight or argument or blow up or something to shake you and help you to see this is not meant for you okay so it could also be that this uh your dreams are trying to tell you that something with this tower energy needs to change the tower energy can also be a realization for us about what we need to change within our life what is not working the current path that we're on the way that we see things is something that we're really needing to kind of pull ourselves out of and get focused okay getting focused so let's look at what oracle messages what oracle messages are here for you as far as what your dreams are trying to tell you so pile number two what are your dreams trying to tell you vulnerability okay some of you may feel right now that you are not allowing yourself to be vulnerable or you have been vulnerable with someone okay also allowing yourself to be that allowing yourself with this five of pentacles here they look like they're both upset here crying okay so that vulnerability is going to allow you to feel your feelings feel your emotions open up okay i'm feeling like this message has a lot to do not only being gentle with yourself because it says tread a little more tenderly okay it could be someone who's opening up to you to be vulnerable it could be someone that you're dealing with who needs to be a little bit more vulnerable with showing their feelings and emotions but it can also be you not being afraid to ask for help and allow yourself to open up with your feelings with your emotions to allow these to be something that you bring to the surface you honor them you don't push them away you don't stop yourself from crying you don't feel like okay well this is an inappropriate time you do what you got to do and you allow yourself to feel those feelings and not push them away so that the next time you feel sad or upset all of these things come up later in your life and you have a mental breakdown okay so what are your dreams trying to tell you awakening okay the tower energy can also be a spiritual awakening for some of you okay it can also be a realization about changing things within your life okay a more of an awareness your connection to other people emotions feelings what are your dreams trying to tell you we have venture here okay so some of you this is movement forward this could be traveling this could be moving okay moving on from something so pile two what are dreams trying to tell you allow yourself to be vulnerable don't be afraid holding back your feelings and your emotions pile number two what are your dreams trying to tell you protected by angels beautiful you are cherished by the angels with archangel michael here okay we also have surrendering to the journey release control okay some of you are trying to fight maybe what this tower moment is or what is trying to happen what is trying to be broken down you're trying to hold on to it okay Surrendering to the journey is allowing things to happen as they are, not trying to fight it. Okay, let's get one more. We also have wandering path here. Enjoy the journey. Okay, 
enjoying things. For those of you that are kind of stuck in that depressed or anxious or resentment even, anger, any of those heavier energies that you feel, that temperance energy is going to be something that is going to help you heal. Okay? We'll focus on healing yourself so that you are able to find that light from within, finding that inner strength to not allow this tower moment to be something that wrecks your whole life or that, you know, has control over you. Okay? So enjoying your journey. Okay? Like I said, we all go through crappy situations, horrible breakups, divorces, traumatic things, but we can't allow these things to have complete control over the way that we feel about ourselves, or to let these things take us down and take our self-worth or our confidence away. Okay, so pile number two, what are your dreams trying to tell you? Find your light. Find your light, pile number two. We've got pleasure here. And we've got relaxation, okay? So some of you may be needing to kind of get away, okay? Travel here. Um, take some time, spend some time in relaxation, enjoying things, enjoying nature. We have pleasure here. So it's being able to enjoy the changes, embracing the changes, not trying to um, fight them. Underneath the deck, we do have potential here, okay? So it could also be that your dreams are trying to help you to see, to awaken to the potential within you, okay? As that Queen of Pentacles, that Magician energy, um, that is there. So pile two, what are your dreams trying to tell you? What are your dreams trying to tell you? A fiery climax approaches. Okay, and this could be these, these major life changes that may be happening for you to be prepared for them. We have a time to take action. And then we also have confidence is your key to success. Being confident in yourself. Not being down on yourself. Not feeling like you can't do it. You have no way out. Okay, so a fiery climax approaches. This could be talking about something coming, some type of ending or transition or change. Okay, something major happening here with the tower energy and kind of awakening to that. Okay. So let's see, pile number two. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Time for a nap. Okay. Or what's your other one? Relaxation. Okay, so some of you are needing to rest and really take some time out for yourself. Being tender, it says tread a little. So some of you may be having like a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions that are coming up recently. Okay, so maybe just really time for self-care, self-love, time to take care of yourself. Okay, relax. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got observer and we've got not for you. Okay. So with the not for you, like I said, with this tower energy, sometimes it is something that is not meant for us. A job, a partnership, relationship, something that is being blocked here, something that is being broken down here. And this is your dreams telling you this person, this situation is not for you. Okay. It is not meant for you. Okay, we also have Observer here. Okay, so it could be asking you maybe to kind of look at things from a, from a bigger perspective, look at things a little bit more carefully. It could even be maybe someone spying on you with the Observer, maybe somebody is kind of watching you <laughs> or kind of observe your thoughts as well. Okay, I'm kind of getting that as well. Observe your thoughts because we have a lot of this heavy energy here. So observe the way that you're thinking, the way that you're talking to yourself. Okay, keep track just for funsies one day. Okay, I had to do this in my Reiki um, when I was doing my Reiki master teacher program. 
and our Reiki master teacher told us, keep count, keep track of how many times you negative self-talk to yourself. You would be surprised at how many times you do this to yourself all day. Okay, so observe your thoughts, where your head's at. If you're just kind of going into this huge tailspin for an hour of this isn't going to work, this isn't going to work, I'm not good enough, I'm this, I'm that, this isn't happening, why isn't this happening fast enough? It's just kind of like this, this huge snowball of negative thoughts that we have. So be observant of your thoughts, especially with you guys having the Eight of Swords here. Okay? Be more observant of the way that you're thinking. If you're feeling like, I'll never be able to own my own business. I'll never be able to do that. I can do this. I'm not good enough. I'm comparing myself to this person. You are your only competition. Okay? It could even be that you are spying on somebody. And this is triggering you into a lot of unpleasant, unpleasant stuff. Okay? And maybe you're needing to be a little bit more mindful and realize that maybe the situation or the person is not for you okay so now i'm going to do this deck here but it's really a big stack so i am going to split it in two and then we'll shuffle from from each one so pile number two what are your dreams I'm trying to tell you pile number two this is too thick Okay, pile number two. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got the bull here. It says, do not back down from an opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So it could be someone who is, maybe there, you. some of you could be dealing with a bully. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, it could also be that there is someone who is challenging your beliefs. It could be that your own beliefs are challenging you and they're not allowing you to be able to move forward. So this is saying here, show strength and fortitude. Keep pushing forward with that strength energy. Some of you could be a Leo. Okay. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? New job, career. Okay. For some of you, it could be trying to push you into something new. So with that tower energy and maybe the five of pentacles, maybe some of you are in, in transition here with a job, with a career. Okay, so new job, new career here. What are your dreams trying to tell you, pile two? Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important, okay? So it could be your dreams are trying to tell you that there may be somebody new, especially for those of you that are going through a big change in your life right now. There could be someone new that is kind of going to come across your path who is going to maybe help you in terms of jobs, in terms of career. It could be someone some type of new partnership for you, okay? A meeting with a stranger could be important. Maybe it'll give you some type of idea or inspiration. We've got psychic ability with the eye. Trust your intuition, okay? So some of you with this, it could be that you are, you know, have prophetic dreams. Um, third eye, you have, you have had an awakening. Maybe for some of you, even going through a dark night of the soul. Okay, so this is spirit telling you, your, your dreams telling you, your, your guides, your angels, your, your ancestors trying to help you through these dreams. Um, even family members that will pop up into your dreams to really kind of help you in the 5D to help you to see something. So this is saying here, trust your intuition. Okay, trust what your intuition is telling you. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Okay, we've got the stork here. It says news of a birth. So some of you could be getting pregnant and maybe knowing someone's pregnant, but the birth can also be a new business opportunity. Okay, so we're seeing job, career, business here as well. We also have tortoise here slowly but surely getting ahead. And we have happiness. Okay, so just knowing that if you are kind of feeling in that energy, it is something that is going to come to pass. Okay, especially with the fiery climax um, approaches, which is an, really talking about an ending. Okay, so what is your intuition trying to tell, or your dreams? Quill, get back to basics. Okay, so maybe not trying to overcomplicate things and just thinking about 
right now, what do I need to do right now? And not over analyzing it, over planning or trying to come up with all of the answers and needing to kind of know everything about what's going to happen. Start small, start here and now. What is step one? Okay, back to basics. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got a door here. Opportunities are waiting for you. Okay, and we were seeing this with potential here. Maybe for some of you, something had been blocked. Okay, a job, a path. And this is telling you there's something better. There's something better for you. Okay out there that is better for you, more meant for you. Okay, so we've got the gavel here and it says involvement with the law. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with a legal situation. Okay, we've also got scales here, keep your life in balance and crib here, birth or conception of a child. Okay, some of you may be having a baby it can even be maybe a spirit baby that is trying to give you um, messages here okay it could be a birth of a new idea it can also be a pregnancy okay or a birth of a business okay so what are your dreams trying to tell you we've got chair filled someone new is entering your life Okay, and maybe it's the same person. This meeting with this person is going to be important. Someone new is entering your life. We also have the star here with guaranteed success. Okay, especially with this queen of pentacles. Okay, if you're feeling like right now, why, is it th why aren't things coming together? You know, don't get discouraged. Okay, keep pushing forward. Even if it's just these slow movements, progressing, moving forward. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay, don't be so hard on yourself. We've got Ram here with a stubborn, aggressive person. So some of you could be stubborn or aggressive, or you could be dealing with somebody who's stubborn. And maybe they have a way of seeing things and you're not on that same level. Okay, we also have um, pleasure with a close friend. Okay, so maybe, maybe this new person is somebody that you'll be having a good time with. Um... Okay, a stubborn, aggressive person. Okay, maybe it's this bull person. This bull and this ram energy. We've got do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So maybe you're dealing with someone that has different ideals or values or something than you. Okay? And maybe not letting those people's thoughts or opinions or concerns mess with your vibe. Okay? Don't let another person rock your balance, your energy. We've got a nest here. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So it could be that you're needing, if you don't have already, a good support system. Okay, maybe healing familial relationships. If having this, you know, a home or having something that is more grounded. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing. She's a definitely... Um, homemaker, someone who is, you know, likes to, you know, very domesticated, you know, everything about the home life. So it could be that you're needing to have something of a more solid foundation at home. What are your dreams trying to tell you? There's a lot of different messages here. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Your dreams coming true. We've also got heart here. Wow. Love, deep affection, and caring. So maybe for some of you, this could be a new person coming in. Okay? Someone new in love. Okay? Not feeling discouraged about, you know, maybe a, a past relationship ending. Maybe it needed to end so that you could welcome this new person and fill this chair with someone who is loving, affectionate, and caring. Okay. So let's get some last messages. What are your dreams trying to tell you? 
I've got finger here. It says warning you of a problem either now or in the future. Okay. Underneath the deck, we have dissatisfaction with life, with cracked up. Okay, and that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing here is it's kind of feeling down because of the way that things maybe have been going. But I do want to clarify what this finger is. It's some type of warning, maybe about a, an, a, this aggressive bully person in your life. Okay, maybe this person is a problem and this or situation is a problem and your dreams are trying to warn you about that person. Okay, so what is this finger energy? What do we need to know about this finger energy? What do we need to know about this finger energy here? Okay, we've got the death card and the knight of cups. Okay, so I'm taking this as there is a warning for something that you're needing to bring to an end. It could be a specific person. Okay, it could be a breakup with another person another relationship, something that needs to come to an end in order for you to transform, in order for you to change and allow that ending to take place so that you're welcoming, welcoming in a new love. Okay, for many of you, a new romantic person. We have that same energy here with the heart. Okay, love, deep affection and caring. This Knight of Cups is very romantic. It could be someone new. Okay, so you may be feeling, you know, especially for those of you that have gone through a breakup or a painful separation with someone, universe spirits are trying to warn you through your dreams, let this person go. Stop trying to fight it. We're trying to give you someone better. Okay? You are worthy of more. You are worthy of someone who is going to honor and love and cherish you. Okay? So some of you, it could be, you know, divorce, separation, anything having to do with the law, Okay, maybe some type of ending here for you. And then underneath the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, moving into a place of stability, harmony, balance. Okay, this could even be a new spouse, a new marriage, a new proposal, a new home. Okay, there's so much potential here, is what your dreams are trying to tell you, for you to be able to see it for yourself and not try to fight against things that are not meant for you. Okay, so transition, change is, is never easy. Sometimes it can be very painful, but it is allowing that the universe knows best with our situation right now. Sometimes these things need to end and we don't understand why. We don't see how all of this pain could be something that is necessary, but it's for us to be able to grow and evolve and really, you know, focus on, on having the absolute best so that we are able to experience life from a place of joy and compassion and happiness. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number two. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, pile three. So for those of you that resonated with the golden tarot and the garden quartz, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to try to figure out what your dreams have been trying to tell you, and this is going to be one of your messages as well. We're going to see how this plays into um, your reading. So we've got the calla lily with rejuvenation and it says reawaken and then stand stronger. Okay, so reawaken and then stand stronger with rejuvenation. Okay, so maybe you guys are needing some rest, needing to take a break. Uh, maybe some of you have been going through a lot and needing to just kind of take a little bit of some time for self-care, self-love, um, really so that you're able to feel you know, maybe ex more excited about life and feeling um, rejuvenated with working on projects or moving through life's other challenges and being able to kind of face them head on and not allow them to be something that does get you down. Okay, so what are your dreams trying to tell you, Pile 3? What are your dreams trying to tell you? What are Pile Three's dreams trying to tell them? Could be, you know, friends, family, a partner, an ex, 
sneaking their way into your dreams and trying to give you some type of message maybe about your life or trying to assist you <clears throat> in the 5D with helping you, sending you some kind of messages. So pile number three, what are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got the two of cups. Wow. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Okay, for some of you, this could be about a relationship. Maybe someone, a romantic partner um, that you still feel very connected to. We've got the Four of Coins. What are your dreams trying to tell you? It could even be about a business partnership or even finding balance. Finding balance for yourself. Okay, we have the Hierophant here. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got the Hermit in the reverse. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this explains this rejuvenation energy right here. Okay, the Nine of Wands overall energy is when we are feeling battle worn we're feeling weary we're feeling tired we're feeling beaten up broken down um and feeling like maybe there's some things that we're wanting to kind of give up on and we feel like we can't go any further but the nine of wands message is really encouraging you to find that strength and be able to tap into it and to keep going, even though there may be some challenges, some obstacles, some things that you're going through, it is about you to keep going, okay? Some of you may be literally needing to take a break or a rest or kind of, you know, maybe some self-care and, you know, really kind of being able to see life with, with fresh eyes and um, new inspiration, motivation for certain things. But this Nine of Wands is, you know, carrying a lot of weight and baggage and feeling just very tired, maybe stressed out, overworked, multitasking, all kinds of different things. Okay, so with the Two of Cups here, yes, this can be talking about a specific person, a relationship, a romantic partner, a business partnership. But the Two of Cups is also about finding balance and harmony within yourself. Okay, finding balance between feminine and masculine energies here for yourself. Um, we also have the Four of Coins here as well. And the Four of Coins is kind of feeling very comfortable with where we're at. It is us holding on to our money, holding on to whatever it is that we have in our life, and sometimes scared to take a risk, scared to, you know, take a a risk with a, a like a business venture or maybe scared to date new people. Um, it's kind of when you're you're afraid to take that next step, that next leap. Um, the Four of Coins message can also be about being more conservative with money, holding on to money, maybe developing a better relationship with your finances, and really focusing on where you're spending and holding on to what you do have. Okay. Um, we also have the Hierophant energy here as well, which is a very spiritual card, a very spiritual energy. It can be seeking out a mentor, a spiritual mentor. Um, it could be going to someone for guidance. It can also be about you stepping into the role of being someone who is able to impart wisdom on other people. Um, the Hierophant is also asking us to take a look at what our current values, beliefs, and morals are. Um, with life, with love, and maybe where they maybe need, you know, some, some tending to, okay? We also have the Hermit energy um, in the reverse as well. And with the Hermit energy in the reverse, this can also be when we are feeling very scattered and we're trying to kind of look for answers outside of ourselves. We're trying to look for answers to life in other people instead of kind of spending that time with going within ourselves to find um, those answers to questions or life's journey um, through other people, but we're needing to kind of look within ourselves. We're needing to spend some time in reflection about, you know, certain things that we're dealing with um, in life. Um, it can also be about not trusting yourself, rushing through things, um, and also needing to kind of slow down a little bit, okay? So it can also be telling you that maybe you've been spending too much time 
isolating yourself and being alone that you're needing to maybe come out of that hermit energy and really kind of you know start to start to do things start to shape um like i said feel, taking a rest a break so that you are able to kind of come back stronger okay rejuvenated here so what is this two of cups energy we've got the knight of coins what is this four of coins energy here this is four of coins we've got the page of swords so some of you this could be about seeking higher education going to school okay learning what is the higher fun energy here we've got the world and we've also got the seven of coins some of you may be thinking about travel, movement. Some of you may be planning or saving for a move, needing to kind of be more aware of where you're spending, okay? It can also be with the world energy here, closing out cycles, okay? Closing out certain cycles um, to allow for new beginnings within your life. We also have the seven of coins here as well, which is about us nurturing our ideas so that we are able to you know, uh, manifest them. Okay. The seven of coins is about nurturing all of those ideas, plans, things that we're inspired by things that we feel motivated by and putting our energy, our care, our attention into these things so that we can manifest them. And these can actually be something that we're able to see the fruits of our labor, you know, later on. Okay. The message with the seven of coins is also asking us to be patient, you know, maybe with ourselves, with other people that we're connecting with. Um, the Knight of Coins energy here is also about slow movement forward, but staying committed and dedicated to your goals, to your dreams, to your vision, okay? For some of you, it can even be telling you that you're waiting on, a, you know, your soulmate or, you know, uh, a romantic partner to come into your life. But with the Knight of Coins here, it may be also telling you that maybe, you know, the person that you're connecting with may also be at a different place in their life where they're right now, they're focusing on their finances, um, the Knight of Coins is, is a little bit slow moving, so it could be also that you're needing to kind of shift the focus towards yourself at this time um, and get things kind of into alignment for yourself um, for this partner to come in. So let's see what this Karma Energy in Reverse is. We've got the High Priestess. Okay, so both High Priestess, Hierophant Energy here, very, very spiritual. Um, the High Priestess is also about wisdom, knowledge, and about us being able to find those answers to life that maybe we're seeking are already within ourself, okay? So it could be that maybe your your dreams are trying to tell you to really kind of self-reflect here, to really kind of find those answers you already know with the High Priestess energy. The, the High Priestess has all of the answers. She has that inner wisdom, intuition, third eye type of energy. So it could be that maybe if you have questions about the future that... Your, your dreams are already telling you that you have these answers within yourself, okay? So let's see what this Nine of Wands energy is here. It could even be awakening psychic abilities for you to really focus on awakening those as well, okay? We've got the Queen of Wands in reverse, and we have the Five of Coins at the bottom, okay? So this Five of Coins can even be that you're isolating yourself, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling bored, you're feeling... Like, for some of you, it can even be that you're out of a job right now, that you're kind of waiting for, you know, stuff to kind of pan out here. Um, with the Queen of Wands in reverse, sometimes this can be a lack of passion or desire that we have about continuing on with something, continuing to pursue goals or dreams or visions that we have. Um, let's get our Oracle messages out here to kind of see... What other messages or what are your dreams trying to tell you? Some of you may have a very spiritual connection with a counterpart here. Okay. Some of you, it could be like a twin flame situation or a soulmate kind of thing. Um, in which maybe the journey has discouraged you. Okay, there may be distance between you and this person right now. 
this person could be visiting you through your dreams to kind of give you messages to keep going and to keep pushing forward and to not give up on yourself, your dreams, your goals, your desires. Okay. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got blossoming here. We also have rejection. Okay. So that rejection can be a fear. It can be something, a fear of rejection, either from another person or maybe with like the business world, the, the financial world, maybe that there's something that is blocking you from feeling that you have this power within you to be able to manifest abundance for yourself with the queen of wands in reverse i'm kind of feeling maybe this maybe part of you has kind of lost your drive like you've lost your passion you've lost that desire that will to kind of keep pushing forward we have blossoming here so for some of you it could still be something that very you're still maybe in the early stages of really finding what your soul's purpose or your life purpose is and this is really telling you here Maybe take some time to rest and really think about what it is that you want. Maybe you have been overworked or you have been through a lot. And dealing with a lot of that has kind of thrown you or taken you off your path. And you may be kind of fearing rejection with employers, with future romantic partners. And maybe this is something that has kind of made you feel like you're stuck in some way. So let's see. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Rejuvenation. Look at that. Look at the synchronicity there. Okay? So some of you may just needing to kind of take like a vacation or some time away from from family, from friends, from a job or and just kind of get your get your uh mojo back. Get your mojo back with the Queen of Wands because normally the Queen of Wands, she's someone who's a go-getter. She's passionate. She's full of fire and passion to go after her dreams and make stuff happen. But with the Queen of Wands in reverse, it's kind of like Maybe you got burnt out. Maybe you're feeling kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't like, it's kind of like you lost your zest for life and for creation and for passion. So your, your dreams are really telling you, take it back to the basics, take it back to the drawing board and maybe take some time for yourself to really kind of collect your thoughts um, and think about what it is that you are wanting to create. What are you wanting to manifest so that you really kind of light that fire under your own butt to keep going, to keep pursuing things, okay? Reawaken and then stand stronger, okay? We've got guilt here, okay? So some of you may be having dreams that are, you know, maybe you're holding on to guilt over something that you've done, something that you've said, something, someone that you've hurt, okay? And maybe this is something that you're needing to release, okay? Something that you're needing to release. So let's see. So maybe apologizing. Okay. Maybe trying to apologize to someone. Or, you know, maybe the situation is reversed with someone that you're dealing with. Maybe this person is wanting to come forward to apologize to you. Okay. Pile three. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got begin now. Take your first step. And we've got protected by angels with Archangel Michael. You are cherished by the angels. So something you're needing to kind of get started with here. Okay, start that journey. There is this long road ahead, but this is your dreams trying to tell you to kind of take that first step so that you can, you know, start along your path. Let's get one more. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Pile three. Staying focused, okay? Hold the course. Exactly what we're seeing with that Nine of Wands is don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't feel like because I've had so many different doors close in my face and I've been rejected that I don't even want to try anymore. Okay? So it's kind of like you're just needing to kind of rest, regroup, and head back out there. You know, especially if you've had like bad luck with dating and it kind of seems like no matter who you connect with it's not going right it's like there's always something wrong okay so that's just kind of that you need to kind of pull in your energy and spend some time in reflection introspection okay pal three what are your dreams trying to tell you transformation and trust okay trust the process trust the journey trust yourself 
trust what the divine have planned for you okay and then we also have transformation here so it can also be allowing yourself to go with the flow with the changes that are taking place in your life the challenges and really not allow these to be things that take you down okay allowing yourself to transform through this process be easy on yourself okay we've got thriving underneath the deck okay so allowing yourself to blossom to grow okay with that thriving energy there so pile three what are your dreams trying to tell you what are your dreams trying to tell you believe in the impossible believe it can happen for you trust have faith okay what are your dreams trying to tell you bring love into the situation okay bring love into the situation so it could be about you needing to spend more time loving yourself self-love self-care okay removing any blockages within your heart chakra feeling more compassionate towards people um empathy some of you may be dealing with some really challenging or difficult energies within um, friends family members loved ones partners exes and it may be that you're needing to kind of change your perception or your perspective with that experience that you have gone through with that person okay and allowing yourself to not allow the past to hold power over you in the future through the difficult things that you have gone through you're, you're able to feel a sense of gratitude even for someone that has put you through a really crappy situation, okay? Because they have, with that lesson that the two of you may have gone through with a specific soul contract with that person, it may be that a lesson was learned, a big lesson for you, for them. Um, and you're able to kind of look at that situation very differently, looking at it from a place of love, looking at it from a place of... You know, I'm grateful to the universe for giving me this experience. I've learned so much and now I'm able to evolve and grow. And maybe from that experience you learned that is not what I want in a partner. That is not something that I want to allow. You know, you learn discernment, you learn boundaries, you learn so many different things. So this is bringing love into the situation, which is also about you allowing yourself to be open to love, open to receiving whoever it is that the universe kind of brings along your path. Okay. So what are your dreams trying to tell you? Don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Don't let your pride or ego get in the way. If you feel, okay, well, I'm automatically going to say I'm going to be rejected by this employer. I'm going to be rejected by this person. Don't allow your pride to get in the way of you putting yourself out there. Okay, if one door closes, it's not opening for you, try another door. Okay, we have nothing is yet set in stone, which means that it's still mutable. It's still, you're still able to because we have this blossoming energy here. Things are starting to take shape for you. Okay, and through this transformation for you, you are thriving, you are growing through these experiences, through the challenges, and knowing that you are able to co create with the universe for the life that you're wanting to. Um, to live okay so let's see Pile three what are your dreams trying to tell you what are your dreams trying to tell you pile three building blocks look at that building blocks you're building you're building a solid firm foundation okay even if this foundation has been something that's been knocked down a couple times five times ten times you keep building okay that queen of wands in reverse has lost her mojo okay it is about you keep going keep building don't let these little setbacks or anything that you're dealing with knock you down and make you feel like you can't get back up and rebuild. We've got between worlds, okay? Between worlds here. 
So this energy here, let's just say of the past, and we've got the future here, which is bright. This past energy here is clouded, it's dark, it's gloomy, and some of you may be dealing, you know, going through this this phase right now where a lot of the stuff from the past is starting to fall away so now you have the opportunity to re kind of rebuild for your future for the now so there is a major transformation a major transition um and maybe the universe is trying to guide you through your dreams to help to ease the transition process some things are going to be a little bit more difficult you know to to move away from and to you know that are really going to challenge you but this is about you releasing and letting go of this past experiences and taking that with you in the future as wisdom as knowledge with that high priestess energy okay so what are your dreams trying to tell you co-create look at that okay this is now your time to shine okay if you need to take a little bit of a break you need to kind of go off grid you need to have your space, have your time, do that. But come back stronger, okay? Come back stronger and passionate about what you want for your future. So I'm gonna be using these tea leaf cards, but as you can see, the deck is really, really wide. So I'm gonna be splitting them in half, and then we'll be pulling from both stacks because they're too big to shuffle all together. Okay, so pile number three, what are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got a wreath there. Okay, so this one says sorrow over a loss. Okay, now that loss could be loss of money, loss of someone who was important to you, loss over a relationship, loss over a job. Okay. So maybe feeling some kind of way about something that you may have lost and maybe wanting to kind of be able to grow beyond that. What are your dreams trying to tell you? For some of you, if you did lose someone and you are grieving, then this is about allowing yourself and, and stop trying to overwork yourself and just allow yourself that time and that space to be able to grieve the loss of that person. Take it easy on yourself, okay? We've got older woman here. Dealings or relationship with an older woman. Okay, so I'm not sure if maybe an older woman is kind of showing themselves to your dream. Maybe this is an ancestor, okay? A grandparent for some of you. It can even be, you know, an older parent. Because someone that you're dealing with in your 3D life. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Maybe something about an older woman who's in your life. We've got love. Okay, so maybe there's going to be someone new coming in. We have that two of cups there. So it could be maybe about in this transition right now, rebuilding your life. Maybe losing one relationship to gain a new one. Okay, we also have Cain here as well. Pay attention to your health. So it could be more focusing on, are you taking care of yourself? Are you eating healthy? Are you drinking enough water? Okay. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Wow, we got a ring here. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So some type of commitment for you, maybe with this love here. Okay, so out with the old, in with the new, okay? We've got valley here, deep personal strength and peace that assures success, okay? So that's strength from within. And we also have a carrot here, opportunity or windfall, okay? So maybe some type of new opportunity or some type of windfall of maybe of prosperity, of abundance that may be coming that the universe is wanting you maybe to prepare for or, you know, look for that opportunity, pay attention that may be coming a way for you to make money. And we've got September, okay? So maybe something going on in September, in the fall, okay? Underneath the deck we have well, with family wishes come true, 
Okay, so maybe something you and your family have been planning. Okay, some type of dream is coming true. Okay, so what are your dreams trying to tell you, Pile 3? Wow, we've got Dark Man here. Dealings or relationship with a man. Um, and also maybe for some of you a dark complexion or dark hair. Okay. Could be someone that you're seeing in your dream. And we've got success. Okay, so, so far your dreams are trying to tell you about maybe your love life, being successful, opportunities that you will have upcoming in the future with love and success or being successful at love. We've got fire here, strong emotion and passionate love or hate. Okay, so some, some of you are dealing with some strong emotions right now, whether they are a love-hate relationship with someone from the past or maybe that this is maybe feeling very passionate about something or really needing to kind of reignite that fire within yourself or something so that you are co-creating here. We've got door here. Opportunities are waiting for you. Pay attention. What are your dreams trying to tell you, Pile 3? What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got kite here. Vacation. Okay, we saw reju rejuvenation here two times. This thing is making me give me a headache. Okay, so you've got rejuvenation here twice and you also have vacation. Okay, so some of you are just needing a break to kind of regroup and, you know, figure out what it is that you're really wanting to put this passion and this fire into. Okay, for some of you, it can even be transmuting energy. Okay, some of you may be feeling hate, which is very strong emotion feeling hate towards someone. So maybe it's your, the same amount of energy that you're putting towards that hate energy, you could be using for yourself in terms of passion and love for success for yourself. Okay, that same energy that you're maybe giving away to a situation or to another person, you could be using for yourself towards your own success. Okay. Kangaroo here, unsettled times need to plan ahead. Okay, so maybe some of you are going through some, some situations that are making you feel unsettled. And you feel like you have to keep working, keep grinding. So maybe needing to come up, maybe a little bit more organized, a plan. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got younger woman dealing or relationship with a younger woman. So you guys have three people. This could be a family. Okay, it could be different people that you're dealing with, people that are coming up in your dreams, trying to give you messages, people you're dealing with in your life. What are your dreams trying to tell you? We've got ear here, good news, look at that. Okay, so keep your ears open for that good news. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming, okay? A change is coming. So the last two, we've got the pail and we've got the broom. Time to get out of a situation. Okay, and we've got the broom here with new home, new attitude. Okay, maybe some of you guys will be moving. Maybe this is your dreams trying to tell you, hey, it's time to hit the road. It's time to travel. It's time to, you know, change up the scenery. Time to get yourself out of a situation. Okay, maybe some of you are dealing with someone who's really immature with this younger woman here, a male. This could be a mother, a grandmother figure, or an ancestor here. Time to get out of a situation and get into a new place. Okay, so I am going to be pulling one last message for you. And this is actually a deck that I did not use for the other piles, but I feel called to use it for yours. So pile three, what are your dreams trying to tell you? What are your dreams trying to tell you, pile three? Wow. Plant the seed of a new template. 
okay? Plant the seed of a new template. That means plant the seed for a new beginning for yourself. Okay, it's time to start new. It's time to start something new. What are your dreams trying to tell you? Magic is alive. Ask your divine child. Okay, so this could be, for some of you, it could be a spirit baby. Okay, some spirit baby giving you messages through your dreams. It could also be um, your, your inner child. Okay, your inner child here. I am going to read what these messages are. We've got Fairy Godmother. Fairy Godmother. 36. See what this message is about. Okay, so this says ask your question with a sense of lightheartedness. Adopt the unhindered enthusiasm of youth to open the free flow of ideas and answers from your guides and guardians. Keep your childlike wonder and imagination active while living in the world. Dream. Okay, so it's telling you to find, you know, make your inner child happy. The things that you're really wanting, the dreams, the goals that you have for yourself and keep that magic alive within yourself. Some of you, like I said, with that queen of wands in reverse and this nine of wands here may feel tired, may feel like stressed out, overworked, overburdened, having gone through a lot. And you're just feeling like I can't even focus on what I want anymore for the future. I don't even know what I want anymore. So it is about bringing that fire, that passion back. Because some of you, maybe it's kind of fizzled out and you're really needing to kind of have that fire reignited within you to find your passion and your purpose and your drive for life by planting this new seed here for your future. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I will see you in the next one.